Okay, so I've put together this preset. I'm not sure if you may or may not have seen that I'd done this preset the other day because I had a gig coming up and I thought, right, I'm going to try and do something a bit different. And so the idea was to have kind of a Vox type amp and also be able to stomp on a bunch of things, so like a reverb. Take the label. And also I thought, let's have the drive channels of the amp foot switchable. So instead of doing a snapshot heavy thing, I thought I'll just... I'll just kind of mix and match. Um, and I thought, well, let's do that again. So in this preset, I've actually got two amps though, so the idea was we're starting with like a matchless DC30 as the starting point, the clean channel, so again, very voxy. And again, we can kick on the drive. I've also got like a freeze. A blues breaker here. And then under this side here, I've got like some pitch stuff. So a pretty versatile preset. I also thought, right, I like this idea of having like lots of things on foot, but also what if we have a second amp up here, which is the channel two of the matchless. So this is like the top boost channel roughly, I think, of a Vox. Has a bit more drive. A little bit more drive, a bit more bite. So I'll just show you roughly how I put this together. So up on this first channel, or signal path we've got the air apparent with those settings 5.55 overdrive higher 6.2 9 voltage then i've got a script mod phaser with the rate at 1.9 but i haven't shown you that so that doesn't really matter a simple pitch with a mix at 30 percent interval at plus seven and then that is foot switchable with this interval button here so basically if you press interval for long enough you can then change your controller to a foot switch and set your min and max values. Then my first amp, I switched to channel one. So channel one and channel two, I've got this amp bypassed on channel two. And on channel two, I've got the first amp bypassed. So I've got the drive at five, bass at five, cut at zero, treble at five, presence at zero. And similarly, I've set the drive parameter to foot switch five 
min value 5, max value 7.5 and also treble here, foot switch 4, minimum value 5, max value 7.5 so that's relatively straightforward then my channel 2 I've got the drive at 5, tone at 3, cut at 0, presence at 0, master at 10 it doesn't have a master volume and I've not set up these foot switches yet I may do, I may not um, it seems like I don't know if I'd necessarily want more treble but for a solo boost I might want more drive so what I would do for that is drive controller is that foot switch 5 I think over here um, so the minimum value is this 5 that we're already on and then I might set the max value to something like 8 see where that gets us maybe 7.5 that's a gain boost um, and then if I wanted to rename this to drive again customize cool okay okay and then what you see there's like a little bit of a complicated thing going on with this split this stuff down here is the freeze and that's on a separate path but I also wanted to get some more stuff in this preset the two amps so I've moved stuff down onto this second path um, so what you do to do that is move something down from this second block here and then you can change this output so you put it down to path 2B is what I want and then this one's on path 2A and then once you've moved something onto this path here you can then do this right and then I would move this split back in front of the cab and then the cab I've just got the so in the matchless amps you have in the two cabs in the dual cabs you would have an H30 speaker on one side I've got a 4038 ribbon for that for loads of bass response 3 kilohertz high cut reflections at 30% and then on the other side I've got the G25 with the 57 dynamic again 3 kilohertz high cut 30% reflections and then just a tape delay and a plate and I feel like these kind of Vox style amps might be some of the more versatile things and they clean up really well as well because they've got loads of treble response so I think that's one of the key factors to making things clean up it's like presence and treble And then even on this amp, that's what I've been playing around with today let me know if you want me to drop that into the folder um, I feel like that's a pretty versatile preset that you could get some use out of potentially and there's still you know space to put in some of your own kind of customizations and stuff but what I really like about it I've done that right this needs fixing path 2b And a 
it sounds good with pretty much any guitar that I've put in front of it. Doesn't get spiky and has chime and vox kind of tones going on. So feel free to try that. Catch you in another video soon. And yeah, I'll drop that into the folder if you leave enough comments suggesting that I should. Cheers.